Yeah, hey Cassidy, we are getting crafty here. They have people piling in for their class tonight. I'm here with Alyssa Ray. And for people who aren't familiar, what is DIY Bar? Yeah, uh, DIY Bar is a place for the crafty and not so crafty people. Uh, you can come in, we'll provide step-by-step -step photo instructions and all the supplies you'll need to make everything you see here. And we have our crafty craft tenders to help you out. <laughs> okay, so someone like me who's not very crafty, uh, pictures. So you, yeah. you think you could even teach someone like me to make something? For for sure, we cater to everyone, whether you're a beginner, whether you did macrame back in the 70s. And um, we have step-by-step -step photo instructions, written out instructions, so we've got you covered. And these are some of the different projects you guys have. It's, so is, is it different every time? Yeah, so we have a daily menu that has about 16 projects. You can come in at any time, make a reservation on our website. Again, we'll give you those steps. And basically, you can make a leather flask. Comes with the flask. Um, but about twice a month, we do have local artists come in and teach a craft. Uh, tonight, we are doing tapestry weaving, as you see right there, with a local artist named Sarah Polly. So you guys su supply everything you need to make it and then show you how to do it? Absolutely everything. We give you, whether it's a paintbrush, a paint tin, we've got it all for you. And on top of that, we'll serve you some a little bit of liquid courage. Yeah. So wine and beer while you're crafting. Yeah, exactly. Wine and beer just to get you in that creative mindset. I know that would help me for sure. That's <laughs> awesome. Uh, and I love this. This is a little succulent pot. You can make that here too. Yeah, the succulent pot. You actually mix the concrete. It sets in about 25 to 30 minutes, but after it sets you can paint it and we even provide the succulent and the dirt for you to pack it in there um, we do get a lot of tourists so we actually even provide a little ziploc baggie if you need to fly away on a plane and I'm super into plants, so I'm really excited. This is one you did recently as well. Yeah, so as manager here, I actually add new projects to our menu every quarter. Um, this is my addition last last quarter, and it's a macrame plant hanger, bringing that 70s back here. Um, but we have two options. You can make a spiral, or like you see over there, just a traditional flat square knot. Um, but again, we give you everything you need, so you're set. And how do people find out what you guys are doing? How can they get involved? Yeah, definitely follow us on Instagram. On there's in our stories and our posts, we'll post all, uh, whether we're having an event here at DIY Bar or if we're popping up like this Saturday, we'll be at My People's Market making free macrame keychains. Um, so definitely follow on Instagram. We do have Facebook as well as our website. Um, if you really are all about us, go on our website and sign up for our e-newsletter. You'll get 10% off. <laughs> awesome. All right, lots going on here at DIY Bar in North Portland. You can make a succulent plant, a hanging, what did you call this? A macrame plant hanger. Macrame plant hanger. They have lots of variety. And Cassidy, they say they can even teach someone like me who's not good at crafts. So check it out.